Well, welcome to One Human. We get a Galesburg guest here, a gentleman, entrepreneur, has been doing a lot of great things in our community, Michael Spinks. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, I've heard so much about the skate palace that you started up. I know the skate skating rink had been closed for almost a decade and you started it up. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got that got that done? Um, yeah, it was closed and it took, uh, you know, a lot of things falling into place and, you know, and the right people around the table. Um, the keyholes have been tremendous in this whole uh, operation and, you know, getting it started. Um, but just basically a vision. I mean, I grew up, you know, not every weekend in the skating rink here, but I did come here often. You know, I was more either in the baseball field or football field. Um, but I did skate. I did come here. I wasn't a skater. I was one of the kids that played Mortal Kombat over in the corner or or did something else. So, so yeah, I, I do have some history here, and I know this right here is a, is a very nostalgic uh, historical spot in Galesburg. Yes, and, I mean, you, when did it open? Um, my first uh, – opening date was uh the first week of january like january 3rd or something of like this that. year and and this year. Yep. i remember you were just about to open and i think you had paint on every inch of your body because you, <laughs> you were literally in there uh using paint brushes climbing ladders i mean you were doing all of that yourself is that right yeah i yeah pretty much did that and you know i had some donations of paint which i appreciate you know the glitz and glam girls who did that and i appreciate you know people who did support you know bringing cans of paint or wood or something when i had to do it but yeah i kind of you know the, everyone asked you know why don't you go out there and skate i said well i spent enough hours on that floor painting it uh it's like uh ptsd i don't need to go out there and skate on it now and just so everybody knows i mean the skate palace is lo can you give us the location it's on the southeast side of town Yep, it's 1855 East Knox. It's kind of right on the corner of Grand and Knox. Um, okay. The corral is right on one side of me, and then we have Woodland Bend is on the other side. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I know the Skate Palace. I've been there. I've watched. I've been to some of your events. Uh, the kids and even some, you know, adults really seem to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, they they feel safe there. They feel, I mean, just even the indoor space is safe uh, to skate. Uh, you know, skating is not for everybody, and everybody knows how to skate. So, but um, I mean, you've done a wonderful job on the interior, and I'm going to show some pictures of that. But I mean, the skate palace is really just kind of the the anchor, right? I mean, you've got plans, you've got vision to to build out from this location because it's got a lot of land around it. Oh, definitely. I mean, you uh, hit it right on the head. We do have plans to you know expand here because just having a skating rink and everyone doesn't skate. And on weekends, we have kids that come in. And they play the video games, they flirt, they talk to girls, they talk to boys, but it's a safe environment. I mean, my staff, uh, once the kids are in and parents um, have dropped them off, the only way that we let them leave is if a parent's outside or, you know, so they, you know, they just, it's not in and out. So um, we've started, there are actually the uh, golf thing, hopefully within the next week will be done. I'm building a 10 hole miniature golf on the east side of the building wow. um, with, uh, you know, different Gelsberg themes on each hole, not, um, you know, like a, a franchise thing. Everything's local. You know, we have uh, Pete's Auto Body, um, Adam of at GNM Distributors, you know, so we have different things. Neil Thomas, those guys have been great, man. That's, those are my saviors. Um, th this is a few of the sponsors I have. We have nine holes that are already um, bought and paid for. Uh, we have a room for one more sponsor. If some, so if anyone's interested in having, you know, their business or whatnot on the whole, um, Lockwood, he's he's been great too. I don't leave him out. Uh, Rotary, um, but that's that uh, on the east side of the building. Now, once that's done, hopefully within a week, depending on the weather, um, I'm going to start building. I already have the tires out back. We're going to put a, a go kart track on the uh, west side, go on the west side of the building. So. We'll have uh, four go karts that'll be available to rent, and uh, it'll be a safe, you know, track. It'll be a dirt track. Um, and once that's done, um, that's probably going to be moving into the winter time uh, next year. We're gonna, you know, work on building batting cages on the west side of the building. You know, with the football field, a seven on seven football field can be played, a track, training, and uh, so just, you know, I have big visions, but. It's, you know, taking a bite of a time. One bite yeah, of a I time. mean, but you've done so much. I mean, like I just, what we just noticed, you started, op you opened this facility and been closed for so many years. Yeah. And you start, that was this year. And you're already, now you've got it up and running. 
Uh, you've got all these great events there and specials. I mean, you've got something for the service indus- uh, industry workers on Wednesdays, mm-hmm. I think. And then you've got the, you've got the public library reading program, people yeah. involved. I mean, it seems like you really put a lot of effort and thought into, into you know, um, social media and, and getting the word out and, and attracting people to this facility because it's really a great place to be. Yes, sir. Yes. We have uh, a lot. One thing I live by every day with my grandfathers, if you don't know something, surround yourself with people who do. Okay. So, you know, the, the library that comes in, you know, that's that's something I would never be able to touch. Um, you know, Melissa Kehoe has, you know, introduced me to people that's helped me out a lot. Um, Wednesday, today, Wednesday, we have the free industry night for doctors, teachers, you know, firemen. Um, they can come in with their immediate family and skate for free. Um, it's half price for everyone else. Um, we have a lot of fundraisers. We've hosted fundraisers for Knox County Crush and different organizations, uh, birthday parties. Uh, we're over like 120 right now. We just hit 100, you know, about a month ago, but we've done 120 birthday parties since January. So that's, you know, that's I'm, amazing. I'm that's amazing. I mean, that's yes. really amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm, and I, and I hear, I mean, I swear, I hear so many positive things about what you're doing. In fact, just yesterday, um, I, I spoke to a woman, she said, uh, she sends her, her 10 year old daughter over there, uh, to skate and she feels completely safe with that. And she, she you know, obviously she had some concerns just because it was a new space. She wasn't familiar with it, but right. everything she's seen and, and the kind of, um, the, the staff that you have and, and their attention to detail and attention to safety. I mean, there's no malingering or loitering around the property. Uh, right. you have the policy of, if you leave, you leave. But, you, you know, and, and so on. And uh, the other thing is you've been operating practically six months, seven months, and we haven't really had any incidents. Uh, and, <laughs> nope. and I think that's uh, and, and people will take one little thing and blow it up. But seriously, right. what you've got going on there is a real a real treasure for this for this community. And I want to thank you. I mean, I really want to thank you. And I know a lot of people are showing their support by showing up and, and partaking mm-hmm. Uh, but not everybody's a skater, right? And not everybody's got kids and so on. So for those who might want to support your efforts and like b- grow this out, because you really got a vision of some other things that have been lost in Galesburg. You know, when I first moved to Galesburg mm-hmm. in 1998, on the northwest side of town, we still had a go-kart and we had a putt-putt. Well, you're bringing those back 25 years later and you're doing it incrementally. But how, how can people help you? Like um, what, what, what kind of financial support could you use? Um, you know, what other things you do? Need Financially, to and, and those who know me, I mean, I, I try not to just go out and with my hand out. Um, you know, I'm very approachable. If anyone wants to reach me, they can catch me here at the skating rink or, you know, you can find me on Facebook. Um, just send your kids, send your family members here. And, you know, like you said, everyone doesn't skate. You know, we, we have a lock in on Saturday, which the last couple of, we've had like 80 kids come at eight o'clock at night and they stay until seven in the morning. Oh, and crazy. so and some of them don't skate. They, they talk, they listen to music, you know, we dance, we, you know, play games. Um, so that's, that's what, you know, I want just, you know, send your family this way. And, you know, if you have any questions, come to me, you know, don't, don't get a second or third hand. Yeah. Um, and I also want to invite, you know, personally invite our city council. I know, um, you know, I've, I've tried to make it back on Mondays to make it to meetings, but um, you guys come out. I mean, I, I have kids from every one of your districts that, that come here and uh, come see firsthand, you know, what, what I got going on over here. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, that's a great invite. And, you know, I've been over there just to say hello to some people. Mm-hmm. And there's an area to sit down and watch and just be part, you know, be a part of the social atmosphere. You have areas for people to sit and eat, you know, uh, yep. while, they, while their friends or family are skating. So it's a great for the birthday parties or other, so, uh, you know, other special events. So that's wonderful. Um, you, you mentioned Facebook. I mean, if somebody wants to reach you, maybe for a donation or to support your cause or to find out what, all of these special programs you have or something's happening tonight that they want to know about, what, what's the best way for them to find out? My, my sale is always pretty close to me. And if I don't answer, I'm either doing a baseball lesson or whatnot, but I'll get back with you. It's area code 847-630-6399. Uh, text, call, send a smoke signal, whatever you got to do, I'll get back with you. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm sure you will. I mean, you, you've been really good with me. I mean, easy to contact. You're there. I mean, you're, you know, you're there all the time. Uh, yeah. You're actually physically doing some of the work. I mean, yourself, I already talked about the painting and the building of the, the golf course, uh, miniature golf, 
all of these things. I mean, your your sweat equity is there, and you can see it's it's, it's something you're really passionate about, and there's yes. no doubt. Um, I'm so I'm, I just want to thank you again. I'm, I'm gonna I'm so happy to have met you, and 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 you're you're just you're you're putting so much good spirit and 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 investment in our community, and and there's nothing you know there's nothing better than that. So thank, thank you, you for your time today. Uh, I know it's on short notice. I know you're running a baseball clinic this week, which I had right. a chance to go, go over and visit yesterday. And the kids were really, uh, you know, and, and it was like a really hot day. But in fact, inside your facility, it was actually quite comfortable. So again, you know, even the insulation of it is good. And, and that speaks well to how you've maintained it and brought it back up to, you know, usable, uh, more than usable, like really practical right. uh, service to our community. I mean, there are a lot of empty buildings in Galesburg, we know. And little by little, we're, we're trying to make good on them and, and turn them over into something. And you did that. I mean, you literally did that with your own ingenuity and inspiration and passion and, and, and literally your physical, physical um, body, you know, the painting and building and, and, and frankly, you know, as, as some may will find out, right. This is my first interview of a local community leader. And this, this is, this kind of thing is, is infectious. And I'm seeing this going on in other places but I'm really glad that you were able to talk and speak with me today. Have a great you know, rest of summer. If, if I can be of any help, let me know. Um, I hope this video goes viral because your facility and what it's going to become over the next year or two is going to blow people's minds. So thanks again, Mr. Spanks. No Thank you. All right.